hello everybody what's good it's your girl Sharice I'm back with another video I was trying to debate if I wanted to come on camera today and film just because I'm like I don't know what I want to film I mean like I already filmed my Avon um, video and I already filmed my um, Ipsy video and so I was like what do I have to really film and then I remembered oh yeah I still bought a whole bunch of products that I have not tried out and like I need to try them all out and so I'm like I might as well film and so I'm just gonna keep filming until I run out of faces to try out these products on <laughs> JK I only have one face but it's still gonna take me a lot of time to get through all these products so we're gonna start with my like most recent favorite primer just this I actually really like this one and I also really like why can't I find it right now oh it was right in my face and I also really like this I didn't think I would like either one of these because they're dewier um primers and like they both have like almost like tiny specks of glitter in them if you can really see that and I was just like, I have oily skin, so it's like, dewy primers kind of like, I feel like accentuate oily skin, but these are both really good. I mean like, they make my face look really hydrated, so, and especially since I like using like matte, um, mattifying like powders and mattifying um foundations so yeah but today i'm gonna go on with this one because i feel like you guys are probably gonna get tired of me using this one i have another primer but it's a little too hydrating if you want to see me use it one day though i can use it i just gotta figure out how to like not mattify it but just like not have it look so oily because by two hours my face will be like so oily looking I'm just like oh my gosh and I don't want to have to like blot all day long but with this it's like it looks so like glowy and hydrated but it's not like too much like oh I just love it now this primer is a little bit on the expensive side I got it from Avon it's called their VDL Lumi layer and it's not this is not sponsored at all I just really like this primer it was $35 and you know like I always used to roll my eyes when like um trying to do two things at once I always used to roll my eyes when youtubers would say like oh sometimes you know products are worth the spur splurge and I'm like mm -hmm. you just want me to spend money because you probably get like a commission or something but no they're right like sometimes certain things are worth the splurge I'm gonna go in with my collab um, loose setting powder I love this I'm just going to set my primer make sure that my dewiness will be under control and yesterday wait was it yesterday no the day before when I filmed my testing out Avon products <coughs> I set with this um, setting powder and I keep forgetting that this setting powder works bomb. So I set my primer with this um, setting powder and then I, um, anyway, um, so I set with this and then I set again and it was like really like cakey after a while because of all the powder. So this time I'm going to do it very light handedly not gonna use as much powder alrighty and I'm gonna go in with the cashmere complexion 
um, foundation by Avon. I really, really love this skin. It's okay to set your face with a little bit of powder. Well, I really like this foundation. Like, sometimes you just need to, like, spend the money to get the the product that's worth it like honestly this is with my drugstore foundations like after a couple of hours my face really feels it and I feel like I'm wearing makeup and I love with how with this foundation even though it's like $30 might be a little less I'm not sure but I'll put it in the description box but even though it's a little on the higher price size, I'm mean side, it's so worth it. Radiant Cream Concealer. I've never tried it, so I wonder how it's going to be. I have this shade... Um, toffee medium three so hopefully it's not too light oh no that's a pretty good highlight shade never used this but I like Neutrogena's products <coughs> like I like their skincare products so, I like their skincare products. I might like their makeup, right? That's what I say to myself. Like, I like their skincare. I should like their makeup. Although, makeup and skincare are like a little bit different. Why do I always feel like that's crooked? Maybe because it is Sherry's. I am not a professional, I'm totally an amateur. Okay, well this does dry down pretty fast. My sponges smell so good. I just wash them. <laughs> I get so distracted so easily. If you're wondering why I'm looking down, I'm just looking at my mirror. I got a new mirror. It's like one of those like ones that like make it like really close and then the other side is like the normal view. Yeah, I said that right. <clears throat> so that's why I'm looking down. I like that a lot. Gonna bring that down my nose. With, got a little bit of <laughs> my concealer on the side of my nose. I'm gonna add just a little bit more concealer. I mean like the coverage is great. I just like I have like these slight indents in under my eyes and I want to see if I can build this up to like get rid of that. I watched a YouTube video 
um, by a YouTuber. Her name is Jackie Ina, and she said that she uses that trick to get rid of, like, I mean, because she said she doesn't have fine lines, but she just has, like, an indent, and so she uses more concealer than most people, and her eyes to, like, <clears throat> basically get rid of that. And sometimes she'll even go in with, like, a darker shade there. So, let's see if that works. Okay, no. I don't think this is darker. I think this is... Or no. Yeah. I think this is actually a lighter shade, which is fine. That'll be highlighting it. So the darker shade will just be reversed. <laughs> Let's see if that works for me. I'm going to take my precision sponge to really get into the corners of my eyes because I feel like I'm having a hard time really getting in there. There we go. I mean, everywhere else I was able to blend it out smoothly. It was just like... Alright, I want to have a gradient, even tone, so I'm going to take this the side, the side of the sponge where I had my foundation blended out and like just pounce that in so that it won't look like a really harsh line between my foundation and my concealer. Okay, alrighty, now I'm going to set that. I'm debating if I want to use my loose setting powder or if I want to use something a little bit more brightening. I'm not sure. Hmm. I mean, my under eyes are pretty bright right now, but who doesn't like a bright under eye? So I'm going to go in with LA Colors um, Beige Pressed Powder. I'm going to use this. Wait, should I use this one? Actually, no. I'm going to use this brush by Real Techniques. It's a it's supposed to be a contour brush, but it looks like it would be good for underneath my eyes to just set. And then everywhere else, I'm actually going to use my e.l.f setting powder and not my collab because like I said in my last video which will be uploaded in about sorry that's the powder it just gets everywhere um which will be uploaded in about an hour I have other setting powders I just don't ever use them because <laughs> when I find something that works for me I'm like a creature of habit so I just continue to use the same thing over and over and over and over again and that's really bad for somebody who's like trying to be a YouTube guru I guess I don't know a YouTuber whatever you want to call it did I set that well I don't feel like I said it well I feel like I need a I feel like this side was set perfectly and then I miss a couple of spots on this side.
Okay, now that we're done with the brightening one, let's go in with the elf one. <laughs> I really like this elf, I think it's like the yeah, Halo Glow setting powder. This stuff, oh, I got a lot out actually. Let me see if I can put it a little bit back. I don't know. This stuff is so good. I'm going to take my big, huge, fluffy powder brush, swirl it in there, tap off all that excess because that is a lot. It's going to very lightly set the rest of my face because I think the last time I just went ham with the powder and I didn't need to so although this foundation did not crease at all on me around my smile lines neither did the um the uh why do I always like drop I draw blanks <laughs> Um, neither did one day it'll come back to me the concealer geez I should just like write a script so the foundation and the concealer did not um, crease on me at all it was amazing why did I grab blush all right York called the city mini palette I'm gonna try this out um, so, they're all shimmers, good, good to know. So let me grab a different palette, um, to start with, I'm going to grab my favorite e.l.f. palette, it has a lot of, like, nice mattes and stuff in it, and then I'll use the rest. My dog is trying to escape the house. <laughs> she does that a lot. <laughs> My aunt's trying to chase her down. I'm going to go in with this um, crease brush. I do this every time. Crease brush. Enunciate, Sharice. Enunciate. Okay. I'm going to take this light brown shade. Tap off the excess. Well, wait. There we go. I was about to start using this palette like it had a mirror. <laughs> mm. Oh dear. Dear Lord. Please help me. I'm actually going to put all of that light brown shade all over my lid, like everywhere on my lid. I'm going to just do like a swirly swirl around my lid. Windshield wiper motions and then I also like to do like circular motions like around my lash line. Because my lash line gives me a hard time with my lashes. With a defined crease brush. I said it right this time. Go Cherise. It's your birthday. Go Cherise. It's your birthday. You guys are probably like, she's such a nerd. Like, why do we watch her? Good question. I'm kidding. You better stay subscribed. I meant to ask you guys, like, do you hear that? It's silence. My niece is asleep. I normally, like, when I, <laughs> well, knock on wood, I don't have any wood, dang it. 
every time I try and film, I try to film when she's asleep, and she usually, like, will wake up and start screaming as soon as I try to film. Break out this palette. Okay. I'm trying to think of what shade I want to use. I usually do, like, a darker shade, and so I think I want to use, like, one of the lighter shades, and so... For this, I'm gonna use, I don't know what kind of brush this is, Wet n Wild never like has like the names on the brushes, like as you can see there's literally no name for Lisa, my hopefully soon to be sister-in-law, because <laughs> she's like, you should tell us what the names of the brushes are. It doesn't come with a name. She is pigmented. I did not spray my brush. I really like despise spraying brushes because um I don't know. I just I feel like it but I do know that this will probably apply way better with my finger, so oh I better not have messed up. I can't wait for my camera to come and I won't have to worry about recording on this laptop. All right, let's, let's apply, oh my gosh, this is so buttery. Oh, she is so pigmented. Oh, this is so beautiful. It is so foily and like Stunning. I love it. I absolutely love it. Wow. This is gorgeous. Like, I don't know what I did to deserve this <sighs> but I want to thank you all and most importantly Maybelline for this palette thank you I'm kidding let me stop being extra before my sister like beats me up when she sees this video all right I'm gonna blend out those edges I didn't add any extra um, shadow to this brush, but I did use it earlier. I'm just going to add it back right there. I don't know, I could just be blind because I should be wearing glasses. And I'm gonna blend out those edges again. Okay. I really prefer this eye right now, and I normally prefer this eye, but this eye is how I wanted it to look. This eye, not so much. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt, again, wing liner. We all know how bad I am at this. We don't, we don't have to state it again. Okay. Oh, so nervous. Uh, so bad at this. Uh. Maybe I should use my 3DX mirror thingy. I'm going to try not to block your view.
Is that a good enough wing? I think it is. <gasps> I did it. My first A plus. Okay, now for the hard part. The other side. Dun dun dun. I'm so upset with myself. I realized like halfway through doing my wing liner, which is so weird, that I was gonna try out my new NYX cream blush. No, no, that's not what this is. My new <laughs> NYX conceal correct contour. Uh, yeah, palette thing. The the liquid con contour thingy looks like this I swatched it if you're wondering why there's like a finger in there um and I totally forgot so I'm pretty pissed that I forgot because I want to know what it's like to use a cream contour I've never used one before I don't even know how to do it and I totally forgot to do it and I already powdered my face and I've always seen like YouTubers use that before they powder their face. Alright, I just need my other hand for this. Oh, I quit well that's as good as it's gonna get but at least I did it and it and it almost came out good like let me bring my face all close to the almost like <laughs> it's obviously not straight but this side this side looks great this side looks terrible like this side looks like a beginner did it this side looks pretty darn good so hey I want to state that I am not predominantly left-handed. I throw with my left, I write with my right. And I know that sounds really weird, where's my lid? But um, when I was younger, I broke my arm and so while everybody was like learning how to throw. I had to learn how to throw with the opposite hand that I learned how to write with. So, oh, my baby girl's awake. My niece just screamed. She's going to be looking for me so we can go play. So now I got to end this quickly. I looked down at my mirror and I was like, I can't see <laughs> JK. It's just because it's like, when I back up, you can't see. I'm going to use the Thrive like Cosmetics. I need to get the big tube. This stuff is really awesome. Like, I actually really like it. And I'm surprised that I do. But I really do like it. Like, my lashes are like baby lashes so they're not even like that great I never do my falsies on camera just because it takes me 110 years but I actually can put them on now but I still put on mascara first because I need to whip my real lashes into shape first Gotta beat him into submission. This very icy color right here to be my inner corner highlight. I don't feel like it's showing up because 
I already have like pretty bright shadow. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do. Oops, how did I mess that up? <laughs> Let me see if I can blend that away a little bit. That looks a little crazy. Maybe use my finger. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks a lot better. I'm gonna use this brush that I use for my lower lash line to put a little bit of highlight on my brow bone. So it can be more defined. There we go. Alrighty. We are hidden home stretch people. We're gonna take some contour. This is three step sculpt sculpt sculpting powder palette. <sighs> face sculpting palette if I can ever speak correctly <clears throat> I have no idea what the light shade is for because it's like I don't know no idea what it let me see yeah full blush brush who that is Pigmented. Okay. I wanted to chisel out my cheekbones, but I didn't know that I was going to do that. And now I'm going to take my other bronzer by L'Oreal. This one has some shimmer to it. The other one is just like a more contouring, like shaping it out contour. So I probably should have been more precise with that one. Sorry. Amateur. There we go. I do like bronzer. Okay. Now I'm going to take my sponge and I guess I'm going to dab it a little bit in that powder, that white powder. And chisel out the contour a little bit. And I guess I like wipe away the bakage later. I don't know. I've never done this with this. Um, and then it has a blush in there. But I can't decide if I want to use that blush. Or if I want to use one of these blushes. I think I've used one of these blushes before. Or haven't I? I can't remember. doesn't look like I use them but I know for a fact I haven't used this so we're gonna use this <clears throat> we're gonna take my equal tools blush brush real it's a retract retractable retractable blush that's just a mouthful blush brush this is a very pretty, like, icy, wish you could see it that well, <laughs> blush. <laughs> if you're wondering why, like, there's, like, all this fallout and stuff, I dropped this palette. And I was like, no, 
I'm not gonna lose this. So I just like put it back in. Whoa, I didn't expect that much pigment. Okay. That is, that is gorgeous. It's definitely more like a highlighter for me. So we're going to pretend like that's the highlighter. Okay, so, so that's the highlighter. A little low. So now I'm going to, this has been my new favorite matte lip liner. So stunning. And the lip gloss I want it was, it's all the way over there. I'm gonna line my lips with this. It's a, like, it's in the shade Whipped Caviar. It's so stunning. It almost looks nude for me. And I know I bite my tongue and like beat me down because I totally like bashed nudes in like my I don't think I really bashed nudes but I, I, I said that nudes make me look like I'm going to the grave until I stumbled upon this lip liner and it is so beautiful I wish that I had this in like a lipstick color and actually I think I'm gonna line that a little bit with a darker lip liner really make that color stand out Alrighty, because now <clears throat> please hold while I go get my lip gloss. Let me, you really just sat there and let me forget my brows. How dare you guys. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. I have like the fastest way of doing my brows now and <laughs> it's the cheapest way possible too. I know you guys are going to be like, she's joking, right? I ain't joking. When I tell you this is probably my favorite brow product until like I find another brow product, this is the best brow product I have ever used. And I swore by my, um, where is it? My CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. Still love it. Still amazing. Just a little too, um, soft for my liking. But I also don't like hard brow pencils, like, because I have like sensitive areas like right here as you can see um, <clears throat> when I was younger <laughs> I decided that I was gonna fly right <laughs> and so I jumped off the couch downstairs in our basement and our basement has um, cement and so I decided I'm gonna try and fly jumped off the couch and hit my head and my mom was in the laundry room and she was like oh my gosh she was like I told you to stop jumping off that couch yeah 10 points for listening and then like the very next week my brother John did the same exact thing to the other brow <laughs> so we both have like really sensitive brows because we had to get stitches there and so I can't use like anything that's like really hard 
and this is like the perfect happy medium it's not too soft and it's not too hard and it lasts all day and I'll show you why <laughs> I mean I'm pretty sure it would last all day on its own but I just like the extra security so this is a um, LA Colors brow pencil only cost me a dollar at the dollar store all it costs. <clears throat> and this foolie that I used is from e.l.f. Is there... Oh, Wait, let's... Yeah. There are e.l.f. Brow wand. Lash brow wand. And I just take this and I spoolie through it again. To make them look more realistic and everything then I take this <laughs> awesome baby again I don't like to make my brows too dark so I just like the clear one because I use black brow pencils and I run this brow gel this is my added security blanket okay and we're done this is the final look I think everything looks great oh well, I should probably wipe away that right yeah we're not done I forgot to snatch my nose no matter what, I've always got to snatch my nose. I like to have my nose nice and chiseled out. I'm going to dip it in there just a little bit, tap off any excess. Oh, I also forgot to highlight my nose. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to take this blush that's in here. I swear, this looks like a blush, but maybe it's a highlighter. Nothing works better than your finger. Sound is so weird. Okay, now last final step. <clears throat> This amazing NYX Bear With Me setting spray. This is so refreshing. <coughs> <coughs> Don't talk while you're spraying it though. <sighs> it smells so good. Oh, I hope it doesn't mess up my my uh what are these my lids jeez Therese you don't even know what is on your face I just really like this setting spray so I'm going to cover it with my palette my lids this time There we go. Yeah, I knew this would come in handy. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, if you liked this look and you like any of my other looks, please check out. Oh, gosh. I got to hurry up and finish. All right. Please check out all of my other videos, my other uploads. And please come back and watch some more videos. <sighs> Need to make sure this stuff sets without any creases. <laughs> So, um, please join me again, and I thank you guys for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you had fun and I hope you enjoyed my look. See you next time.